continue from thine heritage right. that I gave thee. And that's why you don't know this. That's why your family, your ancestors don't know this. I I'll come back here. All right, good to All right, man. You, man. you have a good day, man. You know, and that's what it is. See, our people, they don't know that they, they don't know about this information. But it's okay. Because he's not of the elect. He's not going to notice. So it's not for us to get all, all, all out, all out tracking because he don't know. That's the spirit of a lot of jigs. A lot of jigs have this mentality where they think that they got a spirit of love to hold on everybody. And they have this mentality where everybody's equal. Because they don't know better. They don't know anything, man. Okay, so sometimes, man, you, can, you just got to have mercy with Jake sometimes. <laughs> you got to have mercy on Jake, man. Sometimes Jake just out there, you know? Not sometimes, but most of the time, Jake is out there, man. Just us. Walking around like a, like a headless chicken. All right, go on, brother. <clears throat> Is this just the average show? Go on. Yeah, yeah, get that. Get that. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Right, and that's what happened to our people. We discontinued from our heritage. And that we're in our enemies' land. Whether we're in the shores of Africa, whether we're in the shores of Esau, okay, whether it's England or America or Holland or France, Canada, because I knew he was from Canada, I can tell by his accent. Uh -huh. You know, they have a they have a different kind of accent, you know what I mean? It's, it's different. I mean it's this American accent, but it's kind of different still. So you, I can tell. You're going, bro. Okay, yeah, that's it on that. So yeah, that's just how it is. I mean, our people have been scattered abroad and they've taken all these, these, these ways and these different philosophies and sayings. Okay, and it sounds good, but it's not, it's not palatable. It's not, it's not substantial. Okay, because when you really criticize what you're saying about how I believe everybody's equal, when you really break down society and you break down that saying, you find out that it's, it's, it's just pretty much a work. There's nothing behind it because you can say something. But a lot of a lot of what you say could be nothing, and I want to back what I'm saying because a lot of people they'll 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 talk about something or a subject matter, and they don't even actually remember what they actually spoke about. Brother just say when he first come up that guy, right? He said that he knew a lot. Yeah, but he didn't know he nothing. Didn't know shit. Right. <laughs> That's what it is. And see, and and see. Even also is what you have to understand. Everything works on the opposite. See, when people say they smart or they know something, it's really because they don't know anything. All right? It's always the opposite. Half of the times anyway. All right? I won't say always, but half of the times it's the opposite. So, um, wow. Oh, wow. 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 You know? Yes, you go on. You had a piece of video. Yeah, go. Yeah, go to Philippians uh, 2. Go to Philippians 2. And um, I believe what verse was you with? What verse did you finish? Oh, well, the teacher only knew. Right, but you had a piece of before that, before he came up. Taz, can you just hold this one second to get my gloves? Yeah, right. One second. Yeah, that's why that's why that. Yeah, read really, your stuff in verse uh, 5. Yeah. Stop in verse 5. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, Philippians 2 and 5. Yeah. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Right. Who being in the form of Yahweh, thought it not robbery to be equal right. yeah. with Yahweh, yeah. but made himself of no reputation. Exactly. And I want to just go back to the point with that one Jake. That Jake, man, he's just the average joke, you know? Just because the Jake come up, man, you can't expect him to know what we know. Because he's just the average individual. He's what you call a two-third. He don't know this. So if a Jake come up and he say certain things, man, you know, I believe, man, he's some sister in love. And that's, and that's what Jake thinks anyway. That's the mindset of our people. They, they believe that he's some sister in love to everybody, but nobody loves him though. That's his mentality. That's what he's been brought to believe by his mother. Okay? And that's just the average joke. About people, but what I'm saying is in due time overall, our people they don't know, and I've been saying this for a long time, they don't know the truth of the matter. Okay? Matter of fact, hold on with you, Dr. Brother. Verse 7. 
but made himself of no reputation right. and took upon him the form of a servant uh -huh. and was made in the likeness of men. Right, and was made in the likeness of men. Meaning he was made in the flesh. Okay, he was born just like how we were born. There was no mysterical virgin birth or none of that nonsense. Okay, what you have was Joseph was getting down in the bed chambers with Mary. And that's how he came, that's how Yahweh Shah came into the world. Right? And what proves that because he was born under the law pursuant to Luke, the second chapter of the law. Verse 8, and being found in, in fashion as a man, he yeah. humbled himself. Right, he humbled himself. Born. And became obedient unto death. And became obedient even unto death. And that's what happened. So Yahweh Shah is a man, although he's the begotten spirit. And he's the first of all, and he's going to receive the first position on the earth, okay? And his, his glory is going to be declared, and his position is going to be declared. Guess what? He's still going to be obedient. So that goes to show for us, we really shouldn't be having this kind of spirit where we're trying to get up above somebody else, or trying to, you know, approve of ourselves, all right? Or we're trying to declare ourselves better than, 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 than what we are already are, all right? That's not the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord is obedience. Okay, and I was reading that, and I was also reading Isaiah 45, and I put two and two together, and that's what I came up with today. And that's why I'm going into this right now. Go on. Yeah, keep going. Wait, wait, wait. Because you ain't, you, you couldn't, you, you didn't get that quick enough, you know, but the world got to go forward. Go on. Go on, go on. So Rock 3 verse 18, yep. the greater thou art, the more humble thyself, yep. and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. Right, and that's the, really and that's really the way of Yahweh Shah. Because that's that that's that just balance. Because see, you're high and exalt and in an exalted position. She's kind of cute, that she's a she's a cute one, like you're going there. So it says, many are in high place and of renown. Yep. But mysteries are revealed unto the meek. Right, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. So only the meek will inherit what, what, the, what is it, the earth because they're going to have the mysteries pursuing the kingdom right, of heaven, right, right. pursuing to Matthew 13. Right, right, right. Go on. But the power of the Lord is great, and he is honored of the lowly. Right, he is honored of the lowly. And this is what the Lord chooses to think that's considered foolish of this world to what to confound the wise. All right? That's it. Why? So that the Lord can show his power in the world and confound the prudent, the so-called prudent of this world and the so-called wise of this world and to bring them to the Lord. And that's it. You got a precept and he can't say what you got to say. Because um, you know this guy that came up, his whole thing is we're all equal. But the question I wanted to ask him was, where do you get that whole concept of being equal from? And where, you, where, do you, where do you get that, where do you get that doctrine from? Because right, he didn't just come up with it by himself. No, so he, he, he got that from somewhere. He got that from somebody. He got it from somewhere, man. Yeah. Like the society or, or a church. So, somewhere he got that idea that we're all equal. Right. He, he was just born and just thought, hmm, yeah, we're all equal. Yeah. Just, the, just the very word equal alone. Why, why do people keep on saying the word equal? It sounds equal. good. It sounds good. All equal. Because that people, you got that from somewhere. Yeah. So, 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 so you got that philosophy from somewhere. Oh, yeah. And all, yeah. but if you say that it's the same definition, the simple definition of equal there yeah. would be that everyone had the same, everyone is the same. Yeah. Everyone would have to be the same right. and yeah. have the same. Yeah. Right. It doesn't make sense. That's, it makes you know, no sense when you break it down. Because as the brother said, the breakdown of the meaning are only the kind. Right? Like what the brother was saying, equal means to be on the same level. So if everybody's on the same level, wouldn't we be the same height? Or wouldn't we say we all have method in Alright, we would have we would have the duplicated mindset as we, as we should all do if everything's equal. So that's so when you say everyone's equal, everybody's duplicated them. Come on, ain't nobody duplicated in this planet, man. Even just by looking at one family, there's a difference. Right. Even the twins. Right. It is all. There's this step of fashion, man, like that. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, past yeah. them. This step of fashion, past them, man. He's going to be distracted. He's going to be taken out, that guy, man. Hey, fake and essential. Spot on his face. Right. Hey, Dangerous hey, um, and the equality doctrine, that really went back to um, Tower of Babel. 
and which is really a, a hermetic doctrine. Yeah? And Esau adopted that doctrine from the Hamites, you know? right. from the, from the Kushites. Oh. All right. Tower of Babel went on. On manifest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. When um, yeah, sure. this is the Nimrod yeah. tried to make all the people one, Pygamies. make them all speak one language. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So that all, that all, that's and really it's, that's a doctrine of Satan, right? Right. because the Most High set apart Israel to be above everybody else. Oh, oh. All right. Even going back as far as the Adamites, man, the Adamites, they were more beautiful than the other trees in the garden, man. You go into um, I believe it's Ezekiel 31. Exactly. It tells you how his his bowls was more fairer than the other ones, man. Yeah. And that the other trees envied um Ad the Adamites, man. They envied them. You know? You get what I'm saying? And so much so to the point where one of the wicked or the serpent, one of the um sons of the wicked, tried to accept to Eve and say, listen, learn the doctrine of the other nations. And that's when she took the fruit of that tree, she took the fruit of the, of the philosophy of other nations, man. Therefore, she's naked, not garments. Exactly. You understand? So that's the point from where we as a people try to be like the other nations, man. But you know, though, like I said, that guy, man, he don't know any better. He's just the average Joe, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and that's a good question, too. What did he get that from? Yeah, he got it from Esau. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's all it is. Because when you say somebody's all equal, it sounds good. But when you actually criticize that word, equal, I mean, it doesn't make sense because you would have to, if everybody's equal, then everybody would have to be duplicated. And really, where he's basically doesn't make sense. He's professing himself to be a Greek. Because the Greeks, they believed in that, that we're all, you know, following the Greek fashion, right, all one. The same. You know, or the Rome, basically, he's a Roman, a Romanized or, or a Hellenized uh, uh, Greek. Yeah, that's what he is. That's what he is, man. And I mean, like I said, Jake, Jake is just out there. Man. Jake, Jake is just gone. I always say the shit is gone, man. The average show blow chick is gone. Go on, Pisa, go on, Pisa. Oh, okay, okay. Ezekiel 20 verse 32, listen. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all. That ye say, we will be as the heathen, as the families of the countries, to serve wood and stone. So our people, in their mind, they want to be like the other nations. Yeah. They wanna they wanna believe in what the other nations believe in. They wanna believe in that equality, bro. Yeah, but you know though, bro, that's not the topic, man. The topic is obedience. You know? But that's alright though, that's alright, because see, that's just the whole thing. You know, when you read the scriptures, man, Israel always wanted to be like the other nations. And that's not the spirit of, of obedience, man, because and the Lord said they take not a covenant, but right, they take not a covenant of people, they take a covenant of Egypt. And that's the spirit of change. And that's supposed to happen anyway, because that's prophecy. Go on, Lord. Yeah, this is to address the equality doctrine. Because he got it from somewhere, man. You know? Mm. I'll take what, brother. We're going to knock that out. We're going to do it. Obedience, yeah. It's the whole thing about this, man. We're supposed to be obedient to the higher power. All right? What is it? The his name is, and his son's name is Yahweh That's really the, the, the whole deal. Okay, and then ultimately the two thirds they gonna understand that all of the philosophies of the heathen is without without no avail, and they gonna come to the conclusion that you have to be obedient unto the to, unto, unto the um, what is it, the Messiah and also the Most High. But they don't know that right now. So it's just everything's fine the way it is right now. With Jake, Jake is out there bugged out their mind. That's because that's the order of how the Lord wants it to be. Because right now it's not for them to receive the shoot right now. Right now, in this day and age, Jacob is supposed to be uh, gone and blinded to the truth. And then when the kingdom is set up, then it's going to be the, the, the supposed, uh, the quiet opportune time for them to receive the complete truth. Go on, bro. Uh, this is Romans. Give me a, give me a Ecclesiastes, uh, not a, is it? Yeah, Ecclesiastes 3. Romans, this speaks about uh, how it's a time in the season to everything go. Romans 1 and 3, it says, Concerning his son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord, yeah. Which has made the seed of David according to the flesh, yeah, the seed of Joseph, and, decla and declared to be the son of Yahweh, with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the from the dead. Right, the Now we're going back to the point: the resurrection of the dead. Because, like I said, we just read in what is the whole say, the sixth chapter, on how in the third day shall be shall be raised up. So. 
when you look up the number three, biblically speaking, excuse me, you find out that the number three really means resurrection. So we're in the day, we're in the third day, which is the third millennium, which is the third, uh, what is a thousand year to us. One one day to the Lord is a thousand year, okay? And we're being raised up. You were one step. Matter of fact, give me that in Revelation 11. They shall not suffer their dead bodies in graves or something like that. Can you put in graves and something like this? Yeah, don't get mad at that, man. That's just a low class. <laughs> low don't, don't get it's funny, it's funny, man. Um, yeah, right, right, right. You know what it um, is. Excuse me. Revelation 11, verse 9. I mean, how the hell in 2018 you going to walk around? You know you're obese. You know you got all kind of, um, what is it? Shit inside your stomach. Because that's what it is. When you see somebody walking around, with skinny legs and they got a big ass tummy. That means they got shit all over. All, all. Back, back top. They got shit inside their arm. Um, back top, innit? Yeah. Right. They need some proof. Yeah, wear tight clothes, man. That's what it back is. Top. That don't make no damn sense to be looking like that in 2018. Go on, bro. Uh, Revelation 11, uh, verse 9. A day of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations yeah. shall see their dead bodies yeah. three days and a half. Right, three days and a half. Go on. And shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Right. And I mean, I don't mean to go up tough, but I mean that. I mean, how the hell you gonna walk around as a woman, as a female, you walking around the street with a hamburger in the hand and you Let's bite go. it at the same time? That don't look right, man. That don't look good, man. Let's go. Let's go. And she's all fat and all that, all yeah. that twacky. And she's got, what is it? Shit all in her gut, her gut sack. Keep giving up, innit? That's not a cool look, man. That is not a good look at all. And that shows you right there that Esau's going down. Because I'm telling you, man, in the 30s, they had some kind of class, man. These Edomites had a little bit of class in doing that, you know? Anyway, I don't mean to dive into it. Can I just say something on that point out? <laughs> yes, yesterday, yeah, in Camden, yeah. just quickly, I saw something I've never seen before. A woman, she looked half decent, lying on a, on a mattress, yeah. her bag and everything, just under a bridge. And I was shooken up because I've never seen that before in my yeah. life. We know about homelessness, but this was like something out of the ordinary. Something. Well, I was, was, I was shook. She was just a, a woman with dress on. She looked half decent, like college, like an average college person, just lying yeah. on a mattress with a bag there, and she was underneath uh, the, the, the railway station, underneath the um, the train station, uh -huh. as if to say she just got kicked out, just uh, just uh, got, yeah, kicked out got kicked out, and a mattress, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's all she had, and her yeah. bag was there, and just her belongings on the mattress, yeah. and uh, I just, it was, must have been a demon or something, I had to re re rebuke the demon, I actually right. felt, you felt sorry. choking up, I felt, right. when I first right. saw it, I like, what, no, <laughs> I ain't seen this, right. So, yeah, in line with what you're saying, things, some things are happening, man. Yeah, yeah, things are happening, because he's so got it like that no more, man. A lot of these young girls you see looking all, looking all good and everything, a lot of them ain't really got it going up. And that's that's shit right there, man. You know, a lot of them ain't really got it going up like that, man. You know what I'm saying? They look the part, all right, but they ain't got it going up on a financial tip. They ain't going up. Actually, no, yeah, you what you had, you had Revelations 11 and 18. Let, let, yeah, hold on, let, let, let's, let's, that's it. Okay. Actually, read, read that one more time and I'll let you read that again. I'll recap what I was saying. Yeah. Revelations 11 verse 9. And they, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations yeah. shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. Right and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. You know why? Because there's going to be a revival, a resurrection, a spiritual resurrection, which the word will be um, unto us as the spirit of life to resurrect us back from the grave. The dead state is the word of the dead state. Okay? Now that we're done with that, now let's do this. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Mm -hmm. To everything there is a season. And they a time to have every purpose under the heaven. Actually, you know what? It's not where he's standing so they don't walk past. So <coughs> they don't get so. I right. just thought about that just now. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1. Yeah. To everything there is a season. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. Yeah. A time to be born. Yeah. And a time to die. Uh -huh. A time to plant. And a time to pluck up that which is planted. 
you have to read a bit louder, bro. A time to kill. A time to heal. A time to break down. And a time to build up. Right, so right now, it's a time for Jig to be broken down, man. But it's going to be a time that Jig is going to be risen back up. And they're going to be building right back up. Okay, fully. With the truth. They're going to be converted and be healed. Which the word conversion means for truth. Okay, but well, right now, Jig is going to be pretty much in a dead state of mind where they're going to believe in the, the way of the heathen, the way of the Roman system. That's the way it's supposed to be at this present moment of time. And then it's going to be the supposed time or the quiet opportune time for them to receive the truth. So it's a time, in, it's a, it's a time for everything under the sun. All right, in, in all seasons, go on. To That's every cool. season, there's a, there's a, read that verse again, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring it, I'm going to say it wrong. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 3 A time to kill and a time to heal yep. A time to break down and a time to build up Right, as you know brother, go up, go up a couple of verses which we stop to every season there's a, there's oh, okay. a verse Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 uh, To everything there is a purpose, a yep. season yep. and a time to every purpose under the heaven Yeah, so that goes back, so that, that explains the point So now we're going to get something else Ecclesiastes 8 verse 5 Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing and a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment right. because to every purpose there is time and judgment that's well said therefore the misery of man is great upon him right that's that's well said the first couple of sentences he read that was, that was the point okay discerning the times so right now, as I've said before, and I'm going to reinstate it the third time coming, there's a time right now so that prophecy can be fulfilled, that Jake is discontinued, and that also all the prophecies can be fulfilled on, on how the two thirds are going to be cut off and not. All right? And also Isaiah the sixth chapter, Romans 11, as Paul was quoting Isaiah 6. So there's going to come a time where Jake is going to be pretty much diving into um, different fallacies and, and uh, you know, vain philosophies of that sort and before you know it they're going to be in those vain philosophies and they're going to be lost even up to the present moment in time until, until they're destroyed so that has to happen okay so when Jay come up and say oh you know we all the same and, and I'm here to spread love and you got to love everybody that's just Jake in, in their um, simplicity the Lord got them in that simplicity they're supposed to be in that simplicity to fulfill, the, to, to fulfill exactly What's going on in these times? Go on. For he knoweth not that which shall be. For who can tell him when it shall be? Right. Who can tell him when it shall be? Right. And the only men that can, that can know the days and the times and the seasons are those that are awake to the truth. Okay. That's who's going to tell them what the leaders going to do at the end of the road. But right now, as it stands, like I said before, all the Israel, you know, they don't know anything right now. Man. You don't know anything right now. Second Ezra 9 verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the size past, which I have told thee before, right. then shalt thou understand that is the very same time uh -huh. where in the highest you begin to visit the world. What's the part of the things? What's the part of the things and the prophecies? Get um, Isaiah 6 in, in uh, 9 and 10. Yeah, this is also part of the prophecy. We're going to get Isaiah 6, verse 9 and 10. 10. Not 10. 10. Isaiah 6, yeah? Yeah. All right. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. Right. And see indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people yep. fat. Matter of fact, you can do one and better. Get through the body in chapter 28, which speaks about how they should be um, during the day as it, as it is in the night. Finish that one. Finish that one. Verse 10. Make the heart heavy of this people. Yep. And make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Right. Least they see with their eyes uh -huh. and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. And that's the bottom line. So 
right now, the Lord ain't trying to convert all of Israel. The Lord has got them in that soup, which they were supposed to be in that soup before the time. All right? Once that time is said and done, then they're going to be revived and live all over again. But let's get this. Let's get to the 20th. They shall go back. They shall go back. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're only 28 and 29. Yeah. And thou shalt group. And thou shalt group at noonday as the blind group within darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And he and he didn't like he was prospering at all, spiritually and also financially. <laughs> and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled yeah, evermore. Yeah, he was so oppressed and spoiled evermore. Yeah, That's why he's there. saying what he's saying. And no he's saying what he's saying because he's been spoiled, he's been knocked out. So when the Jake come out and say, well, you gotta pretty much be equal with everybody and, and you can't curse out Esau. And that's what they say on the on the YouTube. They'll put comments down saying you guys should just talk about something else and don't talk about Esau. That's because they've been beat the hell up spiritually and also um, psychologically, which I should have said this means the same thing really. Alright? And I mean you could understand why Jake is saying that, because you gotta understand Jake has been beaten down. You know, when you've been beaten down psychologically for 400, 500 years, you're going to be in that state of mind. Okay? Because Jake, Jake is not there in the head, the dead right now. Go on. Let's start again. <coughs> uh, Jude, and the Lord Jude, got them in that mindset. Plus, go on. Jude, Deuteronomy 28 and 29. Yeah. And thou shalt grow at noonday as the blind grow within darkness. Yeah. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and evermore. spoiled evermore. Yeah. And no man shall save thee. And no man shall save thee. So uh, the only way, the only person that's going to save you from this, from, from this low mentality, as we all had in the world as well, is only through the, through the grace of the Heavenly Father. John 15 and uh, what is it? Six, I believe it's uh, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. So the Lord chooses you. He opens up your mind to see the ways of this world and to understand things. And then you go teach. Okay, but a lot of our people, they haven't been chosen to receive this truth. Only the elect will be chosen and to see the whole the whole picture of it all. All right, because you even got Jason that are really um, sound in the mind to a certain level of degree, but they don't have the truth. They may talk about the government, how the government oppresses their people, yeah. what happened, like, uh, what is it, Martin the King, not among the king, but let's just say um, Louis Farrakhan, you know, he's a great speaker, yeah. what have you. And you got other guys like him that are that are well-studied individuals. Yeah. I give it to them. But they don't they don't know, neither, neither, neither do they see the bigger picture. Because they don't know the bigger picture, because right, they right. can't see it. It wasn't given to them to them. Right. All right? So they don't know it, man. So don't, don't get all bugged out if they don't understand. The Lord don't want them to understand. Go on. Five seconds. <laughs> you already, you have to stuff, man. Yeah, hold on. First Corinthians 1 verse 26. For ye see your calling, brethren, are that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Exactly, exactly. That's a good scripture. So not many wise are called, and not many sharp are you called. Versing this thing, but the Lord don't want you to really be into this because you're not of the elect. You was not queen destined to receive this. Okay, so like I said, you can't get all bugged out because Jake has this um this 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 servitude mindset. They have that servitude mindset because they've been beaten down for one. And number two, the Lord got them in our sleep. So you have your answer. So there's no need to bug out about it. You know what I mean? We don't. That's, that's, that's it. Um, on, on. Connected to the point, Romans, uh, sorry, Second Evidence 9 and 1, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligent in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs of past, which I've told thee before, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time when the highest begin to visit the world which she made. made. Right. So, um, quick. um, in order to see and, and understand that. When you're seeing these signs, we're nearing the end. The Most High would have given you the eyes to see, and, and in the, the first place, in, in the first down place. And obviously, we all can. Everybody, even the two thirds, can see the signs. They can't see it, but, but they, they, they can. They can see the, the, the blood moves. 
Yeah, they but they don't understand it. Exactly. That's yep. what I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah. Everybody and their mama can see the signs, but they don't think that that is a sign that we're that we're beginning to um, when the most has will visit the world which you made, bro. Well, you They're know not what? gonna consider that. Well, you know, all we gotta do is go back to Isaiah six. Yeah, this Isaiah six. Which exactly? That's how it all connects. Yeah, all connects. So the reason why it's like, and you're right what you're saying because they do see the blood moves. They see the phenomena, they see the UFOs, but they don't, they can't comprehend what's actually going on. Why? Because the most side so we got the best You got to do it, don't you? Okay, quick one, go on. Uh, uh, first Corinthians and then go, and then go back 3 and 18, it says, Let no man deceive himself. Yeah. If any man among you seemeth to be wise right. in this world, let him become a fool. Let him become a fool, yeah. That he may be wise. Right, because a lot of jakes out there, they claim to be wise. And you got certain jakes that know certain things. I give, like I said, I give it to them. 